and what the flyer was showing you, sis, is that everything that's happened to us historically in this country is documented here in this Bible. And what? that's how we know we are living life. We're not just saying it's safe. We have the biblical proof behind it. So, so when we say that we're Israelites, the black Hispanics and the Native American Indians are Israelites, we're not just making it up. But see, a lot of people look at us, each other like, the next black man don't know nothing. Because I don't know nothing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, how do you know this, but it's not on TV? Right. How do you know this, but it's not in the newspaper? You know, how, how, how do y'all know this and it, it is not in the uh, general consensus, right? Like you said. Because instead of following social media, you should be following God. Right. Basically. But how do you follow God? What, what are the you gods? You have to lead yourself to think the Bible is like your proof. You have to read the Bible. You have to read scripture. Try to follow your, you know, the word as best you can. If God tells you something, you can't question. If you walk past somebody and they, they want you back, the Lord, Lord may say give them two or $3. Or you pass somebody and they're stopping. When you drive past, but they're, they're on the side of the road and maybe they're tired. You're like, it's late at night. You're like, oh, it might not be safe. But if God told you it's okay to do that, you stop and help that person. You don't question God. This is my story. Okay, you go touch on that. So, what? Scriptures in the Bible are we supposed to listen to? The first scripture I follow is John 3 16. Okay. Not that Jesus Christ died for my sin. Okay. But the other day, this homeless guy, I said, the other day, he, he read Genesis 2, uh, 2 Thessalonians, and he read uh, a Bible verse in Romans. You know and the last verse I was given was by my neighbor, and I was trying, she gave me Psalm 100, and I asked her what verse to start from. She said, start from one. It only had five verses, so I read all five verses. I have to read the game to understand. What's your name, sir? Uh, Olivia. Olivia. Yes, sir. We're supposed to follow all the scriptures. Right. See what I'm saying? Like, we've been taught that we just started Matthew or some in Psalms. Yes, sir. Right. But we have to follow the whole Bible. That's how we know who's godly and who's not. Right. For example, like you said, if God tells you to help a homeless man, you help him, right? Yes, sir. But let's go to what the Bible says. You read Surah 12. Watch this. Watch this. Because a lot of things that we believe of God came from a man. And a man is the reason why we believe these things about God. A man preached this man. He's not Jesus. So all the time, they've already lied to us with this. So, exactly. To prove that that is a accurate depiction. So again, we're not saying yeah. that this one on the very end is the exact image of Jesus. That's not what we're saying. We're but saying it's a closer is, depiction uh, of what Jesus Christ would have looked like. Okay, oh, there we go. Right. I'm going to read one more. The church had a correlate. Revelation 1 and 1. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Sister Olivia, what is revelation? The book of Revelation, I'm going to be honest with you, the few times I've read it, it's the book, the book that tells you like the end when the end of the world is coming, when the beast is going to be left, left, that will be tortured, etc. It's kind of a scary uh, book of the Bible. And also, some of Psalms have some of what Revelation has as well. So I really don't... The whole Bible has what Revelation has. That's the That's right. Okay, I'll get Isaiah. out there. Okay, he said the same thing the Revelation said. Like Jeremiah said the same thing Revelation said. Jesus said the same thing Revelation said. That's what I'll well, The only verse I know in Isaiah is Isaiah 4 10. It says, Fear not. That's about the third and south wind in Isaiah. So, so you, you, you pulled out the exact scriptures that the people in the Christian institution have taught our people. Yes, sir. Do you right. see how they isolate these scriptures? Yes, sir. So, what, they'll tell you not to touch Revelation because they say it's scary. Right. But we're in the very first chapter. And the word revelation means to show, to reveal. Mm -hmm. This is why Jesus Christ said this. Read it from the top of it. The this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants. He were show. To show. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Sorry, now give me a letter. Read a letter. So, watch this. Yeah. Start verse 10. This book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 10. I was in the spirit of the Lord's death. John the Revelator is the same John that walked with Jesus. He was one of the 12 apostles. 
Right. He said that I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Christianity will teach you what the Lord's day is. The Lord's day is the Sabbath day. Right. So when you hear that I'm in the spirit on the Lord's day, you would be like, what is he talking about? Well, they make us celebrate on Sunday, but it's really Saturday. Right. Saturday. Right. I don't know you know, everything behind it being Saturday. So he's giving you the accurate depiction of what day is happening. Oh, wait, your Bible has the reddish. That's what he didn't have to spoke. Right. So we started off one verse, we started one verse before he starts talking. Okay. Watch this, keep reading. I was in the spirit of the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Say, I am... Uh, he heard a great voice behind him as a trumpet. Show her that the world we're about to read is in red. As you know, in the time of Revelation, Jesus already died, rose, and went back to the Father. But he appeared unto John. To tell us this revelation. Right. Read. Say, I am Alpha and the Lord, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book. He commanded John, if whatever he sees from this point, write it down. Read. Write it in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and to Smyrna. And to Pergamos, and to Diaspora, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So Jesus told him to write down everything he sees from this point and send it to the seven churches. So he said, I turned to see the voice that spoke to me. So this means that when he commanded him to write this down, Jesus was behind him. So read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So he's telling you what he saw when he turned around. Seven golden candlesticks would be known as a menorah. That Jewish candlestick like this right here on the, on the side on the end. That's what a menorah looks like. The thing with the fire coming out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, that is known as the menorah. Right. That's what's called seven golden candlesticks. So of course he depicted that. He wrote that down. That's a verse from Revelation. Yeah, we're reading it. We're reading okay. it right okay. now. Okay. Watch this. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the candlesticks, one night unto the Son of Man. So in the gospel, Jesus Christ was referred to as the Son of Man and the Son of God. Right or wrong? Okay. John. Walk with Jesus, so he knows exactly what he looks like. Read that part again. And in the midst of the candlesticks, you got that, babe. You got it. Okay. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light to the Son of Man. So he said, "I see somebody look like Jesus." Read. We just read. We just read up above that that's a great. So we know that Jesus thought. So when he turned around, he's seen the man who spoke, which looked like Jesus. So we know this is Jesus Christ. We know for a thousand percent fact. Read. Clothes with that garment down to the foot. So now he's describing what Jesus is wearing. Because what did Jesus tell him to do a couple well, verses is, ago? Is this the part where uh, when he's coming down and looking, he's, he's going to walk across the water? No, 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 no. no. This, ain't, this is a whole different part. Okay, I won't be trying to keep up with you. Jesus told him to write down what he sees. From this point on, write down everything right. Right. So now he's describing what Jesus is wearing because he's following what Jesus told him to do. Okay. Read. What clothes with a garment down to the foot and go about the patch with a golden girdle. A golden girdle, belt that holds the garment together. It's gold. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head, the hair on his head, right, and the hair on his beard was white like wool, woolly in texture, like the hair that we have. Yeah, it's on your floor, I know it's like right. this picture right here, with the fiery eyes, right? Right, and you look at me, watch it. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, the reason why his eyes was a flame of fire, meaning red, the whites of his eyes were red, because when he was on earth, he drank wine. And he drank wine in moderation. Just like if you see a wine on nowadays, his eyes, the whites of his eyes are red. 
He's in the same body. He died in. You understand that, right? It's a more glorified body. Don't get me wrong. But it's the exact same body as Walter Right. He reads. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a to fire brass. What color is brass? A little darker. Darker than More like brown, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, sir. he's seeing his feet exposed. Because remember, he's wearing a garment down to the foot. Okay. So, he sees the top of his feet. That's the thing that's exposed. Okay. And he said it, that's like brass. Great. And his feet like a tefai brass. As if they burned in a coat. So, if you put something in an oven and burn, what color does it turn? No, that means that that means that's on fire. I said burn. So when you burn something. Oh, like black crisp. Crisp, right, black. Yes, sir. Right. So he said his feet was like grass as if it was already burned. Meaning black. Dark, very dark brown. This was the description of Jesus. It's not like Jesus was the earth born. Right. Okay. Right. Because he understands what Jesus looks like. If Jesus was a different color on earth when he walked, he wouldn't recognize this man coming back to him later on. See what I'm saying? And we understand that in red is Jesus Christ talking. So this is the description of Jesus Christ in the Bible. Give me John. I mean, Daniel. Go to the Most High God. So, Jesus is a so-called dark-skinned black man. What color is the fall? Okay, okay, you're right. So, so why would it be important? Now, let me you on a few on the point. Why do you say our oppressors will teach us that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will look like this guy? Why do they think they teach us that? That's number one, yes. They destroy our self esteem. That's number one, yes. They're too discouraged our black men, and they already, you know, discouraged with like, you know, you guys, you guys as kings and put them up with that. But of course, they don't want you to know that you're going to have our most high. Exactly. Because then you'll definitely have, you know, right. confidence. They could enslave us. Right. They already mastered our men, so they are, you know, just, that's just one more thing to try to pull our black men down. Is, that's how I would take it. It's exactly what it is. Yes, sir, that's what Howard That's exactly what it is. So let's get what the Father looks like. That's written in the Bible. And this is, again, other scriptures that's in the Bible that we must adhere to, but they don't teach in the Christian church. What scripture would you recommend? Why are they better than them? My second thing, for nine years I've done nothing but just like work, because other people, less people, volunteer, you know, with the youth and everything. I don't date on your social media. That's because I'm trying to find my purpose. This is the so song. I'm, this I'm is not going to lie to you. The Mormons, see, the Mormons gave me that. They even come with me twice a week. Even though I don't believe it's the Mormons do. But I can't just knock them when they come by because they're out, so out here. We're trying to win. It's just as the Israelites. That's why I always stop and acknowledge you guys and say hello because I'm still trying to learn. Okay, what so would you recommend for I'm about to show you. One of the kids. Some of the kids. Some of the kids. Because Christ said there will be many false people that come in my name. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm here to tell you that these are the different sects of Christianity. The Mormons, the Baptists, the Pentecostals, right. the Episcopalians, Catholic. All of those are so-called false Jesus. Right. I'm drawn to you guys because I see so many kings unified. So I'm like, this time I said, you know what, this time I'm going to say. But what unifies us? Is? What unifies the men you see before you? Uh, the world. Period. Right. Period. That's it. This book, I'm going to write you a book of how I feel and give it to you. I'm going to read the book, the Holy Bible. Now watch, this is what you need. Read it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. How do you fear the Lord? Well, I mean, I don't fear anything but God. But how do you do that? What? 
what is the action of fearing God? Well, you have to, uh, you have to pray. First thing before you pray, you have to repent. Sincerely, you have to pray. You have to worship God and follow His word. So, uh, that's, that's how I know to the Father's word to let him know that he's first and he's the most high. Put nothing before him because he's a jealous God too. You can't put nothing before him. Okay. But I say, when you the only thing I know, I just uh, follow his word. I try to repent. I pray to him and try to follow his word as he can. Okay. So, and, and also, I have to let him talk to him. Even when you let him hear. Now, do you believe that God sent messages on earth to, to teach the right way? Yes, sir. Okay, so. Yes, sir. And how would you know if it's the right This is what we're about to touch this a little bit. How do you know if a man is telling you the truth or lying to you? Because if it's not God, then God is not going to have you. I, I wasn't going to God's message. You guys didn't come to God. Okay, that is, yes, that's, that's the spirit side of the book. Yes, sir. There's guidelines in this Bible that say what's godly and what's not. So. And these scriptures we're going to go over is going to show you what godly is and what's not. But give me the action. What is the fear of God? What is the action, right? You gave me your. your well, and if it's not the word, it's not such. That's why I say, like, men are the head of house. Women can't be the head because men are the head of house. Exactly. Yes, the word is absolutely. But there's a biblical definition of what fearing God is. Oh, okay. So, so I'm about to read it to you. Okay, you see what I'm saying? All right, because a lot of people get that feel good. You know, at church, they'll, they'll read something to tell you what the fear of God is, but it's not back up by this. So we're going to read what it is out of this. Watch this, read it. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 13. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's the fear of the Lord, to hate evil. Now go back. Now we gotta define what evil is. You see what I'm saying? This Bible defines itself. You know what? It's not just to put you off, but you know, the way I was raised, they taught us that you can't hate anything and or anything and love God. You're telling me that I can't uh, hate evil. You get ready to tell me. See, I've never been told that before, so I'm still learning. Yes, ma'am. Watch this. Read. Then we're going back to the first verse to Psalms 111 and 10 to finish it up. It says the fear. Watch it. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So it said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What does that fear of the Lord mean, according to the Bible? You said I must hate people. Exactly. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth 